My name is Amer. I run craft classes for kids in Stevenson House uh, with the Milton City Council Learning Directory. Today we are recycling t-shirts, old t-shirts or old-fashioned t-shirt or if there is any holes in your t-shirt and you want to renew it, so we will recycling this to make a shopping bag and we will make a cover for the cushion. What we will need is old t-shirt and ruler, cushion, scissors, ribbons for decoration, pom-pom for decoration, and glue and needle and thread if we will need them. We will start to do the bags first. So what we will do first, so we will cut the seam of the t-shirt. And we will use this later on. So we'll cut the sleeve. And the other side as well. And we will cut the call as well. So we try to stretch. t-shirt from here because this will be the handle and we want the handle will be big and to be put it in your shoulder and we will turn the t-shirt in the back and in the end we will use the seam which we cut it before Cut it in half. And we will try to, to tie the end after grooving this with the seam. Very tight. The more tight, the more your bag the base of your bag will be strong. And just this part. And this is the base of our bag. So the size of your bag depends on the size of the t-shirt. If you want to make small bag, the t-shirt will be like small size. The bigger one would be big. So now we try to decorate our bag. So we will use everything which we cut. So this is the seam which we cut later. We will put here and the other side as well. So we can decorate our bag with some ribbons. So we can use the glue or we can stitch them. So this is depend on how you want your bag will be. You can just use whatever you have at home to decorate your bag, depend on how you want your bag looks like.
for me I like to have some ribbons there pom pom or if you make something for special for yourself or if you have in your school some badge you can put them so whatever you find it's available in your place just you can use this or if you have pom pom you can put them so you can glue them so you can use the glue So this is just the options and what available in your, in your home. So now this is our bag and uh, we will wait until the glue will be dry and uh, we can take this bag for shopping. And now we will do the recycling, the old t-shirt, small t-shirt, the favorite t-shirt which you like it and you know you feel sad because it becomes small so you can keep this to make a um, cushion cover for the cushion and you will see your t-shirt or your favorite t-shirt every time you look at the cushion what we will do first we will cut the seams So bring the cushion you want to cover, to make the cover for it. And we will see around the cushion five centimeters. So we'll just make a dot for the five centimeters. And here again, the five. So dot near the cushion and the five centimeter from there and the same you will do in the here so it will be like this So just make a dot to see where your cushion will be. Okay, now you take this off and we will cut We use these dots to cut the t-shirt and um, and they, the size of this dot, it will be the size of the cushion and the surrounding of the cushion. The inner dots, this is the size of the cushion. And the outer one, this is the one we will uh, join the cushion together. So now we will measure two centimeters and we will make a dot so this two centimeters we will cut this for joining our cushion so every just make a dot every two centimeter so it will take time but the result will be nice. Now we finish all the marking. Now we will cut stripes, the end of our stripes, the size of our cushion. So this is our cushion here. So when we will cut, we'll cut the straight like this.
So we'll see. So in the corner, you just have to cut the square here. Okay, and the last square we did. Now what we will do is we have the back and the front. Everyone have the back and the front. So what we will do, we will make knots like this. Just simple knots. And every one we cut, we will do a knot from the back and from the front. Just tie them. So just for the decoration, you can skip one and tie the other one. Just to make like fringe, like, like what I did here. So we leave one, which is this one. I will leave this one and I tied the second one. So we will continue to tight the back and the front as a knot all around. And in the end, we will put the, we will leave the last one and we'll put our cushion. And after we put the cushion, we will tie the last bit like this. So when we tie it all around the same way, like here, we will tie this, the end. So we'll tie the end with the same technique. I did one previous time and uh, it will look like this. All tight around, it will be exactly the same like that.